So basically how an MCP operates is basically it's a client server architecture. You can take it this way. And the communication happens through uh, through an uh, RPC. So basically, because when it when it's a client server architecture, so you have a server, you have a client, and of course a host also, right? So host MCP hosts are nothing but your applications that need contextual AI capabilities such as your IDEs and stuff, right? Uh, so you could uh, consider this like mostly like you know cursor, uh, you know, plot desktops, uh, and things like that. So whereas MCP clients, uh, these maintain, uh, you know, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, communication with uh, your uh, MCP servers, uh, which can handle these, you know, protocol very specifically. And MCP servers are basically these lightweight programs that expose a specific capabilities, right, to the MCP interface. Let's say, for example, that uh, you are trying to, you know, say that uh, you want to read some certain issues from GitHub. Right. So GitHub has an MCP. So you could basically use that. So that becomes an, uh, you know, um, an entire server, uh, which can either be kept local or uh, remote. So, and there are multiple uh, clients for this you can use. So you could use, uh, you know, a client is there. You could use Roo. Uh, you could use, um, you know, Cloud Desktop. So there are multiple clients that basically you can start, uh, you know, using over here. 